All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. What you're seeing is the 67 Camaro that I'm gonna be working on. You saw this on my previous video, but I have a surprise. And that is that I have, I want another one on eBay. So now I have two. And both Hong Kong, both same color. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do one on this channel and I'm gonna do the other one on the Spanish channel. So if you wanna see the result of the other one, uh, I'm gonna leave the link on the video description to the other video on the other channel. And on that note, last, ch uh, last video, I was wondering about how come this one didn't have small wheels on the front. And uh, some of you suggested and that they might have been changed and look at this the other one does have the small wheels in the front luckily I got a set of wheels I don't have them with me right now but I'll leave uh, a link on the video description where you can get them so I'm gonna go ahead and open this and inspect this one especially this one I think the hood might be broken as you can see I'm gonna have to fix that but if you want to see how I opened it, just check out my last video. I'm going to put a link somewhere up in this corner right here, right here. I just got done drilling and tapping. These cars are real hard to tap in the front. <clears throat> There's not a lot of space. As you can see, this one has a good hood. This one has a broken windshield. Yeah, it feels broken, but that's okay. I got one in uh, eBay, leave the link. This one's kind of dirty, I'm gonna have to wash it. As you can see, this one is kind of Near the difference. One it's like milky, milky white, and the other one I don't know. It's a combination between beige and brown. Somewhere in between. Here it goes. This other one is the one that had the original small wheels right and the broken hood and guess what i got lucky it's not really broken the little clamps in there are just open too much so i just all you got to do all i have to do is reclamp it it'll sit there just like an original all right so next step is going to be uh, stripping off the paint and I'm going to be cleaning this. I'm going to be electro polishing the, the bases. All right, so the next step is uh, I'm going to be electro polishing the bases to clean them off. So check out that video. All right, guys, we're back. This is how this one looks without paint check out the the base hope you saw that video if you did it i'm gonna post a link somewhere around here so you can see how i electro polish the base i did not electro polish the car might might not i don't know i'm gonna try uh, some steel wool see if, how that ends up this is one. Look at the other one. The base. And this one was the one with the the hood. When I try to crimp this side, it broke. So I uh, I cut a little piece of uh, paper clip. 
as you can see and I used Gorilla Super Glue Gel so it doesn't run all over the place and it works perfect as you can see the, the little paper clip ends fits right there perfectly and even holds the hood up better than the other one <clears throat> alright so next step I'm gonna clean them off as you can see all the pitting see all this and I'm still surprised on how thin the metal is in the, these old cars it's incredible Look at all this they're really really thin this is basically how they ended up I'm hoping the paint covers up most of the painting but considering that these cars are more than 50 years old in the condition they were in they look pretty damn good I don't want to you know remove any more material with the sanding and polishing so that's I think this should be it for now so the next step is gonna be uh, paint All right, guys the paint is drying I'm gonna be uh, replacing the wheels here real quick I'm using this wire cutter cut this wheel off I want to touch the white bearing here This front axle is really bent out of shape, so we're going to be trying to fix that pretty soon. Oh, that one was easy. It came out one snap. There you go. That's off. Put that to the side. All the broken wheels to the side. Before I work with the axle, I'm going to be... Uh, Painting in the details. So here's a quick. I'm gonna be using Sharpie here, like this one because it has that like fine tip. I could get real close up to the to the bumper here. This chassis doesn't have a lot left here. And here's another tip. This one, even though it's more expensive. As you can see it's the ink it's, it looks more like purple the original sharpie i gotta get new ones this one is kind of old but you know the ink tends to be a lot darker you can still see a lot of that purple one but what are you gonna do then I use this uh, sponge. They sell this in uh, Home Depot. Sandpaper. So I basically, I'm gonna be trying to like, go like this. And just clean slightly the top to get all that detail back. So uh, I removed. small portion of the bottom Let's see if I can get it again it's a lot easier if you do it quick while the ink is still wet there you go that's good enough so the same thing in the back from what I read, uh, the Hong Kong version had all these inside painted black. The USA uh, casting, I think, only had the head, uh, the tail lights painted. Okay, so we're gonna be going in. 
maybe one or two passes. I can't really make it all the way back here, but. There you go, that's good enough. And uh, let me try this again with the sponge, clean off the excess. Sharpie. I'll be painting the tail lights. So I find it's better if you do one coat. Wait until it dries out a little bit, a few seconds. Go again. installing new wheels here you have the medium small and the tool I'm gonna to leave a link where I bought this on eBay the guy sells in uh, Amazon too so I'll leave you both links if you prefer to buy in Amazon you got that uh, Amazon Prime take advantage of the prime shipping All right, so this is the rear. I'll try to get this behind. Get some support here. And there it is. New tire is on. Let's do the other side. Let's do the front. Let's see if I can grab the tool here. I'll try to, I don't have a lot of space here. This axle, it's pretty banged up here. I got it. So I'm gonna put the wheel on and then I'm gonna try to strain it out the most I can. All right. That one is on. Let's do the other one. As you can see, this one is pretty, pretty, uh, I'm trying to hold it here and turn it the other side. Yeah, should be good enough for now. I'll wait until I uh, install the chassis on the car just so I can make sure that in case I have to make another adjustment. All right, so uh, let me see if I find it. Where are you, where are you? Here it is. So, so one of the interior windshields cracked. I don't remember which one it was, let me see. Yeah, this one. So I got this on eBay also. I'm gonna leave you a link. You see it's banged up pretty good. Got a replacement. Brand new. And I also it also comes with a clear one. Alright guys, I just took the windshields out of package. 
and immediately found out what's the difference. I guess both windshields are for a heavy Chevy. And the difference is that they have this little tap in the bottom. So I'm going to have to cut it off. Make it fit. Right? So we are finally on the last step. What you're seeing right now is what I started with. And I quickly present to you what I ended up with. Wait a minute, that's not the right car. No, I just wanted to show you this one. And that was the color that I uh, originally wanted to pay, paint the custom Camaro. But the, the casting was, you know, I didn't want to send it. You know, it, it, was, it was not looking good. Let's put it that way. Let me, uh, I did paint it. I'm going to put a, uh, a small video here on the screen so you can actually see how uh, it was looking. This paint, uh, this kind of, uh, I don't know if you want to call it antifreeze or gold paint. It does take uh, some technique to get it to stick. You really have to go real slow to be able to build it up. So... With that, I also wanted to do a, a stencil on top. Well, I actually did the stencil, as you can see. But I wanted to keep uh, doing it with the Sharpie since I didn't want to spend the time to cover it with masking tape, you know. I'm trying to find a way to do things quick. That way, you know, and accessible. And that way everybody feels uh, confident to do it. So this paint does not like the Sharpie paint. As you can see, it kind of, you know, bleeds in and so definitely it was not going to work. As you can see, I did some tests here with the different color Sharpies. This bronze might look good for like some ghost flames in the future. I don't know. But yeah, that, that idea didn't work out. It could have if I uh, modify the art a little, but... You know, it's not worth it at this time. But as you can see, this is a uh, 69, I think it is. 68 Couple Camaro. Looks pretty good too. All right guys, so here it is. I had to go with the purple, being that the purple covers up a lot of the pitting on the casting. Hope you like it. I like it. It looks, you can see that windshield. I mean, I tried even sanding it down and that little mark did not go away. Of course, I have the, the clear lens, but you know, and the blue one, the other blue one that was, I put it on the other car. If you want to see that other video, I'm going to put a link on the video description and somewhere here on the screen. So you can see the result of the other one. And uh, before I end this video, I want to thank the channel Fatatech Dash Miami for suggesting uh, to put the car in my oven for uh, 20 minutes at 200 degrees, and that really, you know, it's cake. You know, I just finished painting this car like 30 minutes ago, and I, I can handle it. You're not gonna have any problem with the paint or anything. That was a great idea. Uh, I, what I did basically was I used uh, those uh, locking scissors. I'm going to put a link also to that on the video description. Enables me to hold the car up, put it in the oven, preheat it. And uh, I also want to thank the channel Jim Cars. I'm going to leave his link on the video description also uh, for suggesting uh, basically put the spray cans in uh, plastic bowls with uh, warm water that helps for the paint to warm up, heat up, you know, a better adhesion to the metal. So I combined both ideas and uh, I was basically able to paint this car with major problems and basically kind of quick once you get the hang of it. Cause you know, warm up the car, spray a little, cause that's the problem with these 
paint that you, you can't go all out like regular enamel paint it has to be slowly coats and what I did was basically I spray paint a small coat light coat put it back in the oven for 15 seconds took it back did another one basically ended up with uh, I think it was like five coats and that's the end result so uh, again let me know what you guys think subscribe please and uh, please hit that bell so you don't miss out on the new videos. Peace out. See you in the next one.